Texas Southern. You see the victorious team there, but they're waiting on their coach who's up here with us in the press box, Lacey Prejean. And first of all, congratulations Thank on you. finding a way to get that done. Uh, you and I talked before the game, and, and you've talked a lot about situational hitting, clutch hitting, someone needs to come through. You pinch hit Allie Delafield, who you really wanted to pitch in this game. Right. But right. you pinch hit her. She didn't get to start like she has been the last couple of weeks. She comes through with a triple, and then Lascano, one of your freshmen, another of your freshmen like right. uh, Delafield, comes through with a base hit. Just talk about that late execution when it looks like extra innings is the is the name of the game. Right. You know, and and we talked about it at the beginning of the game, and we like I said, all, pra all practice. And the first pitcher, the little lefty, she got us to pop up quite a bit. And uh, we weren't making the adjustment. Um, we weren't selling out on the adjustment. And um, there was a little frustration there. But um, And then when they changed to the righty, it was opposite. It was obviously a change up and, um, and down ball, down spin. And I knew that, you know, we had opportunities. I don't know how many we left on base this game. But we had some opportunities early on. We had some op opportunities with the bases loaded one out, unfortunately. Um, you know, Lexi, Lexi's been hot. She, you know, and they call her Lucky Lexi in the dugout. She draws walks. She gets hit by pitch. Um, she gets on with errors, and then she got a, a started inning off for us this weekend. So um, that was a, that, that was the matchup that I wanted with with that type of pitcher. And unfortunately, they doubled us up. But you know, like you said, two freshmen, Allie Delafield. Um, uh, she, you know, she that's her type of pitcher. You mm -hmm. know, I don't want to get the scouting report out on her, right? But. Um, she hits those type of pitchers really well. It was a good matchup, and I knew we needed an extra, uh, you know, an extra base with, with two outs right there. I knew we needed, like, to, to get on second base, and uh, we had gotten stole, uh, thrown out earlier. So my thought was, okay, we can get a, a double or a triple right here. Uh, really, I wasn't thinking about a triple. I was thinking about a double or a home run is really what my thought right, was. Right, right. And, uh, you know, she comes up, hits the ball hard, um, and I just rolled the dice and called her over to third, and um, – and then Mia, you know, um, she's she's been really the last, you know, I guess, you know, seven to eight games has really um, offensively, I think, has, has brought something. I'm, I moved her down in the lineup a little bit, and uh, I think she feels a little more comfortable right there. Well, she kind of gives you that secondary leadoff spot, right. which uh, right. I know is, is very popular. Um, just momentum-wise, emotion-wise, so many one-run games that you just didn't find a way to get done. Now you find a way to get one done here. What can that do emotionally for a team? Finally, right? Yeah, finally, and, and it does, and and that's and that's what I, w I was telling somebody um, earlier that, you know, we, unfortunately we had the the, the loss at, at Louisiana Tech by one run, um, the walk off, the first game against Lamar, the walk off, but we were so close, you know, and um, and we won the second game at Lamar, but you know we, we could have easily been three and one last week, and but I wanted them to believe that and to know how close we were. You know, I, I haven't mentioned it yet, but Kinsey did a great job. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I wanted her to dominate today, come in and dominate it. Um, she started off rough. We had a couple of three ball, um, uh, uh, I don't, not walks, but she, she got behind in the count. Yeah, well, she and went three two on the two of the first three batters, right. but struck both of them out. Right, right, and and you know, and, and I want her to, to dominate and not have to throw 15 to 20 pitches an inning, and that was our game plan for her. And and then they had some innings where she cleaned it up a little bit. You know. Um, I'm anxious to see, look on film to see where that, that home run was, but I think she had three it, hits. It was over center field. Well, so that's yeah. just mess with you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, but other than that, you know, she pitched a really clean game and then great defense. Yeah, it was a very clean game for Seeley. Eight strikeouts for her. Um, Coach, congratulations on Thank the you. win. Obviously, you like, like to get a one-run game, and now you head on the road to Corpus. Sure. Obviously, a lot of fun down there, so uh, best of luck to you down there. Thank you, Patrick. All right, Lacey Prejean, the head coach of the Northwestern State Lady Demons, as Northwestern State takes the victory in this one. Two to one as the uh, Lady Demons get this one with a walk-off. Mia Lascano taking care of business after Allie Delafield got the pinch hit triple with two outs in the bottom half of the seventh inning. So Northwestern State takes the victory, uh, turning things around a little bit in one-run ball games. Big thanks to James Stanfield, David Antilly, who's our lead man here for softball, and all of our crew, we appreciate that. I'm Patrick Netherton saying so long from the Lady Demon Diamond in Natchitoches. Your final score, Northwestern State 2. Texas Southern won. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Good night from the City of Lights.